Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan and Nicole. You just did a five axis piece. Yep, this is my first fifth axis part right here. Did you ever think you were gonna jump up that quick? No, no, um, actually this was really an amazing opportunity. I was able to follow the tutorial and it made it really easy and simple to do. Oh man, the Academy making five axis easy. Boom. Boom. So five axis CNC machining on the UMC 750. You're doing three plus two, and then you're bringing in the full simultaneous afterwards. Yep. And uh, it's a cool project, all right? So before we talk about it though, I just want to invite everybody at the end of this video, if you love what we're throwing down, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have something specific that you want us to teach on, please put your request in the comment section and you might see it in a future vlog, all right? Now, let me break this down a little bit, all right? So we are excited because our team just unleashed the first five axis tutorial. So we got the Titan 139M, which is the prerequisite for the Titan 200M. And this part is legit. We have three different tutorials. You design the part, you program the part, and then you run the part, all right? And I want everybody to understand, like we don't just make tutorials and push them out. With the building blocks, we used the high school down the road and we basically gave them material and tools and asked them to make parts and give us feedback. And in the same way in our own company, we actually went to Nicole and I basically walked out of a few weeks ago and I said, hey Nicole, we got the tutorials now, why don't you actually go through the tutorials while you're working and basically make this part and see if you can come up with a complete part that is to print. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> and you it. just started tackling it and, and what happened? Since it was my first fifth axis part, I had no prior experience other than just basic operation of the machine. So the most intimidating part about this particular part for me was just being able to tell the machine where it needs to be at any given time. But after watching the tutorial, realizing how simple it is just to tell the machine where X, Y, and Z is for each operation. And so with that, I was able to just follow step-by-step step in the tutorial. And I was able to make this part, which looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is. Just to expand on what Nicole said is that, stop thinking about the machine it's a machine that's gonna do exactly what you're telling it to do. So when a lot of people look at the machine and they become overwhelmed because they can't wrap their head around the rotations and how's it all gonna work, you basically just have to step away, look at the cam process and understand that during that process, you're gonna tell it everything it needs to know so when the code comes out, it just goes boom, 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 based on what you told it earlier by doing your homework, right? Yes. Making it all happen. <laughs> exactly. Boom. And you know what, that is our trait. You know, CNC machining looks incredibly difficult. The machines are very difficult and if you put the wrong decimal in the wrong place, you can crash that machine. And another thing in this trait is that a lot of people don't share that information, so everyone learning basically has to reinvent the wheel, yeah. okay? And that's where the academy is changing the game. So we are bringing tutorials that not only teach you how to do something, but we teach you the trade while teaching you how to do something. So when you actually do a tutorial, we're talking about the machine, we're talking about the work holding, we're talking about the zeros, we're talking about outside process. We basically talk you through all the variables of manufacturing that part and we're sharing knowledge the whole way. So this part is a complicated part. And if I looked at a cookbook and, and I saw this crazy recipe, at the end of it, I would look at it and be like, that's an impossible recipe for somebody like myself who doesn't cook much to actually create. But what does a cookbook do? It actually gives you the exact ingredients, it gives you the process, and it basically gives you a roadmap to success so we can all cook up that dish, all right? So it's the same thing, that's what the Academy does, and that's one thing I want everybody to understand. We're literally demystifying five axis, giving you the ingredients, giving you the cookbook, and telling you exactly every single move to do. And if you watch it, 
pause it and copy it and do exactly what's on the tutorial like Nicole did, you will have success. Right. Ah, <laughs> so this is your actual program, yes. right? And I actually see one of the tools right there. Correct, yeah. So this is our first tool path here. So before you start, I just want to say something real quick. This is operation one. So what we do is we actually hold the raw stock in a vise, face it, flip it, face it, flip, 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 do the engraving, come back with a corner round tool, put the radius on, boom, 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 and this is the first operation, all right? And you learn how to do the first operation by completing the Titan 139M, because it's pretty much the exact same thing, okay? So do the 139M, you'll know how to do this, machine this part right here, we flip it over, we hold it into JAWS, and then if you look at Fusion 360 on Nicole's computer, you can see all the raw stock is right there. So the first pass is adaptive, so go ahead and simulate it. So we start out by roughing this area out here, and we go ahead and we flip it 180, and we do the same exact operation on this side, and then we do our ball tracking, which is gonna be the same. We start on this side here, and we rotate it all the way around, and do the same thing on the other side. And basically, the process is exactly the same as the building blocks. The only difference is that you're just rotating the part with each operation. So then we actually take a face mill, and we do this surface here because it's flat, and we're able to, with the five axis, just rotate it so that this is perpendicular to the shell mill. And then we just rotate it and do the same process on each side. Yeah, and one of the cool features that I actually learned in this tutorial is patterning. Basically, take your operation and tell it from the center of the part you want to rotate it around in a circular pattern around the part, and you would do it 360 all the way around four times, and that'll make it do all four pockets perfectly. And then to do this surface here, this radius, we use a ball mill, and we're able to also use pattern for that and by doing that, we are able to have it go around each leg perfectly, all the way around the part, even though we only had to create one tool path. And the cool thing about this tutorial that I did here, this is showing the basic operations of the fifth axis machine. This is what we call three plus two. It is not full simultaneous, but we are going to be including videos on how to do full simultaneous, so you can learn both techniques. Now, this is one of the cool things about the academy, right? We teach you the design part so you know the part intimately because you drew it up from the print. Then we teach you programming. A lot of people think like, Titan, you're teaching programming too soon and they gotta learn the machine. But you know what happens? You understand the part, we give you the tools, we tell you exactly how to use the tools, and then you simulate the tools and you literally see every single cut so then you know the tool paths intimately, and then you go and create the code. So when the code goes into the CNC machine, you have confidence because you created the code. You looked at the path, and you double-checked and made sure that the tool didn't dive into a place that it shouldn't have. So you have all that confidence. Therefore, you can step into the machine and just focus on getting the program in there, making sure everything's good, zeroing the tools, zeroing the fixture, making sure you got rigidity in the work holding and in the spindle. And then all you're gonna do is duplicate in the machine what you did on the computer, right? So Nicole, now that you've actually made this part, do you have any advice for people that are stepping in the five axis for the first time? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just what I would recommend is following all of the tutorials that we have up to the five axis parts and definitely doing the prerequisite part as well. Absolutely, so going through the building blocks, going through the rocket, seeing the process of actually making the parts, just how it all works, so that by the time you jump up to five axis, you have a good head on your shoulder for the basic functions of the machine. Right. Make sure your tool paths are perfect. Make sure you go through the checklist, zero everything perfectly dry run your part, everything, right? Take right. your time and you're gonna be successful. Exactly. Can anyone just run these parts? 
Anyone can do this, yeah. Anyone. Anyone in the world, right <laughs> Anyone now. Anyone that wants to. If you guys have access to a five axis machine, you guys can make this part right here, all right? Because it is free on our academy. Just go up to the top bar, go to education, drop down to five axis, and then you'll see the Titan 139M right there. Knock that out, design it, program it, run it, and then step up, and you got the Titan 200M. You got all three videos, CAD, CAM, and CNC. Boom, follow it, and you can be successful just like Nicole. <laughs> Boom. Boom.